Okay, today we're going to be tying. Okay? And we, like I said, we collect samples, we look at them. Okay, I can't do that right now because you see how hard it is to get through one microscope. So what we're going to do is by picture. All those who have used slides, now we're going to see what you remember. Okay? So we're going to take out a 10, 10 slides and we're going to identify them. Okay? So I want to do it. I'm sorry. I couldn't do this earlier. So I'm going to give you some paper. Do you want to help me? Does everybody have something to write with? Yeah, I have pencils. I'll do you that. You need some. I got pencils. Want to work in groups? A table is a group. Okay. That's cheating. I'm the TA. So we don't go through a lot of paper. Sorry. Oh. I have, I'm giving four surfaces. We'll work together. Do you need pencils? Do I need pencils? You guys need pencils? No, thank you. Okay, pencils, pencils? Okay, pencils. Okay. What do we just know? Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you about a minute and a half with these pictures. Scribble out a. Okay. Okay. Now, for each one, for each sample, I want you to tell me whether it's a phytoplankton or a zooplankton. Okay. And I want you to tell me if it's a holoplankton, meaning it's been the whole life as a plankton, or whether it's been only been part of its life as a plankton. Okay? It's like fish might be a meroplankton, right? Because it's swimming and the rest of the time it's a plankton as a larvae. Okay? And then we have a drawing section. We just sketch it. Okay, help you remember. Right. So you'll have. Drawing's not the issue, okay? Just getting some of the characteristics, it's color, it's size, it's, you know, it's shape, and so forth. So here we are, just so you remember, okay? On your piece of paper, you're gonna wanna put what specimen it is, the first slide, number one, and, and two. Okay. Just a brief description of what you see. Does it have a flagella, does it have a pen, does it have an eye, is it transparent, does it have a color, has gills, whatever, okay? Just a description of what you're seeing. You can use any resources you want. If you're working at the team. If you want to ask the back table what they say. If you want to look it up on the internet, that's fine too. Okay? I don't care. As long as you get the answer. Uh, an answer. And I don't even care who's trying that. Just you're playing scientists, right? Okay? And then, as I said, we want do the sketch. So here's Plankter doing a sketch. Okay. And this is even more detail than I'm looking for. Okay, you can cut teeth in the mouth. Okay. Is this our first one? What's this? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's specimen number one. So number one there, you don't have to do them all, just do one or two. You do any one or two that you want. That can be pretty simple. Right. And write down whether it's a whole plant or marrow plant. Whether it's minor plant or root. Or no plant. Oh, wait, okay. So describe it first. Start with the end. 
This is macroscopic, this is from the shoreline, this is under my Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is a, a yeah. thousand micron. So this the guy is big. You know just what kind of 
animal it is yeah. that's close to up. You know, it's the biofabric. <laughs> Oh, I can kind of gave that one away. Yeah. 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 But it stays the same. You're right, it's radially symmetrical. It's very radial. In fact, uh, the subphylum is called radiata. One more?
It's really tiny calamari. Okay, for the, for the sake of time, so we get out of here, I'm going to go on over. Okay, put your paper down. <laughs> okay, what is that? Diatom. Okay. Vinny, Centroid, Diatom. Plants that live in glass case. Diatom. Yeah, well, that's what but is it phyto or? What do you think? I think it's phyto. Phyto. Most common phytoplankton in, in the aquatic <laughs> environment. Oh my gosh. In hollows. Wait, yes. no. Hollow. Hollow. Yeah. Yes. Hollow. Right. So green No doubt about that. Hollow line. <laughs> What's this? Blue green. Blue green. Excellent, and it does get that back in uh, up, upper uh, uh, below Tahiti. So this particular abatement is not far from North Carolina. It does get that bad. Yeah, blue green pathogen source. Killfish, kill pets. Uh, evidence there's a causes brain damage, so it could be very, you know, not good. just not good stuff, okay, stay away. So it's a problem. <laughs> you want me to go back? Okay. It's copepod, crustacea. Don't like this? Hollow plankton or mirror plankton? Yeah, but it didn't answer the question. That's right. We nailed this one. We did? We got it. Okay. What is that? Fish. Fish. What kind of fish is it? Fish. Coral. Different species. This larvae different than hatchlings? No. Oh, uh, is that called it a hatchling? Those are all three different. Yeah. Same thing. <coughs> thing. Yeah. What do you say, Bruce? Hatchling, okay? Yeah, it's just, it's What's, I'm sorry? Hatchling. It's like a. Sorry, a larvae. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Hatchling like, it's it's like just uh, undergone yeah. south by the so egg. So that right. is one of the changes. Yeah. Outside the egg, but that one does have the egg sac line. Are they three different out. species? These I, I, might be egg sac, egg sac here. That's the hatchling and larvae. So the 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 yeah. The it's, it's close for purposes of this discussion. Technically, they are different. Okay. Uh, scientifically, they're different, but for most, for all intents and purposes, they're different. That wouldn't be an answer. Ah, wait, one off there. That should have been a harder one. Uh, 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 that's a blue, blue crab larvae. Uh, They're so huge that you're like you're looking really on your microscope and suddenly this thing. It's kind of hard to swallow. Uh -huh. Hard to swallow. One thing crabs are good at is the thing. And they're omnivores. They eat everything. They're very successful at your species and commercial value. Why is it important to us? We didn't see, see that one. No, the other one we saw was a sperm. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 it was. It was. It looked like it. I mean, I drew it. That's not what that. Yeah. 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 There's a different aspect. Oh, it's not the same. I did not make that up. <laughs> <laughs> but it is still <laughs> the same. <laughs> okay, just a chamber of this. Oh, it's different from what we drew. Yeah, it's a different picture. Okay. But they, they are That's not confusing. That's good. We want to see okay. medical. Sorry about that. <laughs> 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 no, we were all of this. Hello, Mary. Absolutely. <laughs> People have trouble. Is this so 
Right. 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 And there's two kinds, the Senderra, the list of two, and Tilton Peach, the Rata, which is one that's uh, E R R A T A, which scurries around like the sandworm, and the predator, this one, is my son. And they're bioluminescent, I'm saying. Aurelia. Aurelia. The moon jellyfish. The mattresses are stain cells are underneath the bell. They're unlikely to get hurt by one. They don't have long tentacles to sting you. Okay? Yeah. And you see the bell going in and out and swimming. They can swim, but just not well. Okay, and they they plankton. They're you know, they could be this size, they could be this size. The film, the beautiful object. See if that is a man. Yeah. Now, it's an octopus. I don't know why you had trouble with this one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Squid. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. But this is the most intelligent invertebrate of all the invertebrates. Okay. That they're capable of learning. We had one crawl out of the aquarium, go to the other aquarium, catch a fish yes. out of the aquarium, and then crawl back in. Because that word fish would go. I was reading one where one crawled out of the tank and turned off the light. Did you hear that? And these aren't made up. These are a lot of real stories. I didn't hear that. It crawled out of its tank to turn off the light because it's bothering it. Oh, my God. I need one of those at home when I get out of here. <laughs> Scratch your back. I can always flick the lights on. You see the documentary of the body. He's just bonding to the dentist. No. Oh, it's one of the best documentary ever done. Really? Yeah. Oh, you want to announce it to everybody? What's it called? My Octopus Teacher. My Octopus Teacher. Netflix. On Netflix. Okay, so I'm it's supposed to be Honestly, I don't know. This looks like a duplicate. Yeah, yeah you went back. Yeah. Okay. What was number nine? Number nine. That's it. That's it. That is number nine. That is number nine. We went on to ten. Wrong way. Yes. Okay, we're done. Okay. Uh, so, in summary. Primary producers, phytoplankton. They produce the oxygen we breathe. They control the amount of carbon in the biofilm in the uh, atmosphere. Zooplankton are their primary consumers, some of them are secondary, right? And they feed everything from fishes to whales. And then plankton in general, to reiterate, they're cr crucial to our global economy. We want to have oil, we want to have anything, really without plankton. They're key to a world biodiversity. They're in the, the diversity and, and the richness is uh, an indicator of health, by uh, ecosystem health, and they're critical to our biogeochemical plankton, the nutrients and essential uh, constituents. Thank you. Thank you. What's the answer? I mean, don't let you know in advance. The winner, the people that got Parker, all the answer right, get the prize. Okay? So, why is the tie? Thank you. So, I have to, I have another trivia question. Why does the tide, why is the tide lower in the wintertime? Because of the moon. Yeah. Thermal expansion of water. Okay, explain how that works. Uh, hot, hot water, warmer water is takes more volume, more yeah. volume is in cold water. So in <coughs> summer it's hotter, so it's higher. The sea level rise and climate change have something to do with that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. What else? The sun. The sun and the moon. The sun and moon position. Well, actually, the earth. What else? The angle of the earth to the sun and moon. Okay. What about the wind? You said the trade winds? Yeah, you get the yeah. north, east, More north, west, northwest yeah. winds coming in, right? <coughs> and finally, what about rainfall? Uh, low. Okay. So if you got any of those right, then make sure you pick up your prize on the way out. Make sure everybody gets a prize. Everybody gets a prize. Diana, you want to pass those down here? They're the. Uh, let me make sure you get the right one. That's Everybody gets a trophy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Here's your, here's your homework. Here's your homework. Okay. So if you remember my email, okay, by the time you come back next week, I want to know what this means. That's my handle. Okay, so. Oh.